Hi, I'm Roger Beery with Bacchus and Beery Wine Blog and Wine Reviews. And today we're here to talk about this beautiful 2012 Suave from Giordano Vini. Now this wine is designated as a DOC wine, which is a very highly designated wine by the Italian government, which tells us that it's a very high quality wine. Now it comes from a, a vineyard, an area that's just outside of the town of Verona which is about halfway between Venice on the east and Milan on the west in far northern Italy. The grape that makes Suave is called Garganica. Now it's an unusual grape in that it is very thick skinned for a white wine. And at the time of harvest, interestingly enough, the grape is almost red, like a red wine grape. But as you can see, it produces this beautiful, golden hued wine that if you look carefully you probably can't see it on camera but if you look carefully you can just see little hints of, of, of sort of a reddish hue uh, inside that gold that makes it even you know a prettier kind of uh, kind of uh, kind of look but this wine Suave is really known for its versatility it's great by itself as we'll see in a minute it has a soft mouth feel so it's great to enjoy all by itself, but it's a particularly good food pairing wine, and it's very versatile when it comes to pairing with foods. Traditionally, it's paired with Italian charcuterie, prosciuttos, soft cheeses, those kinds of things, and it pairs beautifully with that. But I want you to think beyond that and think about summer salads, maybe a, a you know a, a light salad with a poppy seed dressing, and maybe some diced up uh, strawberries in there. I think it would go very well with that. And uh, it would even hold up to maybe some grilled chicken uh, that's not smoked too heavily, maybe uh, lemon, uh, you know, lemon pepper on it. But uh, anyway, let's, let's move past the food for a moment and get to this beautiful wine. Well, on the nose, we, we get green apple. We get a little bit of Meyer lemon and particularly baking spice. Well, it's medium bodied and it's very creamy on my tongue. And the acidity is balanced, so as I said before, we can enjoy it on its own or pair it with some really nice foods. From a flavor perspective, the green apple really pops, uh, but not too much. It's balanced with bits of Meyer lemon and minerality, that sort of that wet stone kind of thing and it's got a long finish. Let's go back and try that again. Mm, yeah, definitely some apricot on the finish and maybe even a touch of almond on the very back palate. Now, you can drink this wine today. It's ready to go. I would serve it at a chilled wine temperature, maybe around 50 degrees. It's rather low in alcohol, only 11%, so it's one that you can enjoy throughout the course of the afternoon. So I highly encourage you to branch out and try this beautiful suave. Cheers.